Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Feinstein receives a major dose of karma. Female victim demands investigation on her she covered up. Sexual assault has been a topic at the forefront of the media because of the controversy surrounding the Supreme Court justice nomination process. Judge Kavanaugh was accused by four women of sexual assault, something that has stalled his nomination process. While Democrats have taken action to stall the process, accusers who are pointing blame at Democratic leadership are starting to come out of the woodwork. Keep and Bear reported. Sharon Bovitt says she was sexually assaulted in 1990 at the Fairmount Hotel in San Francisco where Senator Dianne Feinstein, DCA, was celebrating her birthday. Bovitt says a Japanese investor-slash-donor was the man who committed the crime after she made her way back to her hotel room. Bovitt describes how her mother, a Democrat, was a friend of Feinstein's, and that the senator was complicit in covering up what happened. Sharon claims she was never going to go public with this information until she saw how Feinstein and Democrats did everything possible to assassinate the character of Judge Brett Kavanaugh. In this second video, Bovitt highlights how she was turned away by Democrats. Will Democrats care about this woman and her allegations as much as they did Christine Blasey Ford and the other women who maligned Kavanaugh? During his time to speak at the Kavanaugh-Ford hearing on Thursday Texas Senator Ted Cruz brilliantly exposed Feinstein. From Right Scoop Ted Cruz, in his normal brilliant way, refuted the nonsense put forth by Feinstein during the Kavanaugh hearing that they didn't do anything wrong in this process. What happened in the clip, between the cuts, that you don't see is that during Cruz's comments, Feinstein interjected that they didn't leak the letter to the press. But even more than that, Feinstein defended herself by saying that she was told to keep the letter confidential by Ford and that's what she did. Feinstein sent Ford's letter to the FBI after sitting on it for weeks and weeks. From Western Journal Senator Dianne Feinstein referred a letter relating to Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the FBI for investigation. I have received information from an individual concerning the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. That individual strongly requested confidentiality, declined to come forward or press the matter further, the California Democrat said in a statement released on Thursday. I have honored that decision. I have, however, referred the matter to federal investigative authorities, she continued. Continued, The Hill reported that over the past two days Feinstein, who is the senior Democrat member on the Judiciary Committee, has declined to answer Capitol Hill reporters' questions about the letter. She has also refused to share the contents of the letter, which was reportedly first given to her by Rep. Anna Eshoo, Democrat California, with fellow members of the Judiciary Committee, according to The Intercept. Almost immediately, the secret letter blew up in Democrats' faces as the FBI announced they were not investigating Kavanaugh. From Daily Wire, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has declined to investigate Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh over allegations sent to them by Senator Dianne Feinstein, DCA. Matt Zapatowski of The Washington Post quoted an FBI official as saying, Upon receipt of the information on the night of September 12, we included it as part of Judge Kavanaugh's background file, as per the standard process. He also reported that the agency was not opening a criminal investigation into what Kavanaugh may or may not have done as a high school student. Feinstein is insisting on further investigation into Kavanaugh and Ford despite having previously sat on credible evidence that President Clinton was being accused of raping a woman. Feinstein, Durbin, Murray, and Schumer, all sat on pertinent information when Juanita Broderick accused then-President Clinton of sexually assaulting her. A time when she was a teenager, in his hotel room during his gubernatorial race in Arkansas. This was when the Senate was in the middle of an impeachment trial for the president in 1999. Not one Democratic, including Feinstein, called for an investigation into Broderick's accusations. Despite the fact that Broderick had been interviewed by Ken Starr and questioned. None of Broderick's friends including Susan Lewis, Jean Darden, and Louise Ma were interviewed regarding the allegations. Despite the fact they had corroborated Broderick's story to NBC News. A polygraph test was not asked for or required, or even done. All of which has been called upon to be completed in the current case of Judge Kavanaugh versus Christine Blasey Ford. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.